Well, good evening, all the world here on YouTube, checking me out here. Uh, this is Matt, and this is the personal side. So it's Friday evening, looks like about 8.25. I'm in from the evening, had a nice Friday, nice uh, productive day, did a little swim, did a little lift in the gym, uh, did some legs. So overall, I'm, I'm prepared for the weekend, which is always nice. So in this little video, I decided since it's a personal thing that I would share with you my favorite animal. Uh, my favorite animal is a rhinoceros. This rhinoceros in particular was uh, a gift uh, from a woman that I helped coach, uh, Nan. Thank you, Nan. A very special rhinoceros. So you could ask why. Why is it that I like the rhinoceros? I'm going to hold that right there. Well, there are some books, and some of the books are called Rhinoceros Success, and I read these decades ago now, and I've never forgotten what they said. So three things about a rhino. Number one is the skin. The skin on the rhino is extremely thick. And in order to have success, you need to have a thick skin. So if a fly or a mosquito lands on a rhino, it doesn't bother them. It can't penetrate. And it's just when you're out there trying to make a difference in the world, people are going to um, get jealous. They're going to try and knock you down. They're going to try to sting you a little bit. People are going to be naysayers, people who question you. So you want to be like a rhino and have thick skin and not be bothered by it. Uh, number two, the rhino has this big horn on the front. There you go, I gotta touch the horns. <laughs> so by nature, a rhino is actually a vegetarian. It's a very passive animal. However, if it gets aggressive, this rhino will charge and obviously don't get in its way. So it'll live and let live, but if somebody comes in, it's prepared to take them out. So that's an important thing when you're going through life. And the third thing about a rhinoceros that you may not know is a rhinoceros has a poor sense of sight. It, it can't see very well but it has an incredible sense of smell. And they talk about that when it comes to success, that you may not always see the success in front of you, but you've just gotta kinda of smell it and know that it's there. So in my business life and coaching, like you know, who knew nine years ago that I would still be coaching, I would still have a following, I would be growing the group, growing the business, uh, and, and getting more and more success. I knew I had something but there have been some good years and there have been some bad years. There's been some good quarters and some bad quarters. But just like the rhino, I just know that like this is the thing uh, that I should be doing. And that's nice. So uh, if you come to the house, our baby actually having the room is in elephants and rhinos. And I have lots and lots and lots of rhinos. Rhino keychains, wooden rhinos, plastic rhinos, stuffed animal rhinos. They're all very cool. If you ever get a chance, I suggest looking up the books. There's Rhinoceros Success and Advanced Rhinocerology. So there's something about me. Hope you have a good weekend. I look forward to talking to you in the morning. Three minutes, gang. Bye now.